Welcome back guys and welcome to another episode. Today I have a fret to go. As always, my name is Lars and this is The Building of Frigga. Uh, so off camera, I um, have a little touch up on this. I plane the side just a little bit, it was almost perfect. And I plane the S stock, so this is ready. Uh, I just need to do other piece uh, to complete the blank. And I mark where the truss rod is going to go. Now, this, uh, this neck didn't move a lot, it just like kind of bow this way, but it's not a problem. It is for about a millimeter, so this is not uh, the perfect center line, uh, but um, it's close enough and it doesn't matter because it's, it's not important. So the goal of this video is going to have the neck blank complete. I want to put the truss rod and the fingerboard on today so that tomorrow I can uh, use the router and have this of the final shape and then of the final thickness of the precise final thickness and then glue other two pieces here so that in another episode i can just cut the thread shape it completely everything so that will be great but first we need to start now i have here this is the piece of walnut that i'm going to use for the fingerboard i need to cut this uh, unfortunately, it, it wasn't a very good piece when they sent, in, sent this to me. And um, I can remove most of the imperfection just by thicknessing this thing down. This is one centimeter. I need seven millimeter to start with and then probably took it down to six. And I reckon that I should be able to remove almost any imperfection that this thing has in case this will be a tad thinner, but I'm not afraid of that. Uh, but first thing first, I need to cut this thing off is uh, almost final shape and then attach it to the template and route this thing. complicated in my life just to have a shot that it's probably not gonna be decent yes now I can align this I'm going to double side tape no to masking tape and super glue this because this piece is a little bit boring so a bit more strength will be better my idea is to have this already prepare uh, with the right with the right shape because then I will use this as a template basically I want, I'm gonna put this here I will have to remark probably the the center line but I can put this here and then um, use this with the router to remove the material without having to use again this just because it's gonna be a little bit awkward to align this together and it's not gonna be easy. And here we have the fingerboard that I think will be very, very nice once I remove the imperfection. Be very, very nice. I can't wait for that. So this is done. This is gonna basically became my template. And now I just have for today, I have to remove this part. I will do it freehand with the router because uh, well, this is a job that doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be good, but not perfect. So, 
honestly, there is not really a reason for using a template. This took me a little bit more than I thought, but uh, it turned out uh, it turned out okay. When push, everything stay nice and low. So what I'm going to do is I did two pieces of masking tape, very very small. Then I can add it. the glue, I glue this thing and this and with this I will be done for today. Let's have a look. You can see here a little gap, but nothing that glue and sawdust cannot fix. We are talking about like a ten of a millimeter, so nothing crazy, nothing that will be actually visible. Uh, but aside from two small points, one here and one here, Everything seems great. Oh no, there is one point here, maybe. Mm. Another one point here. So, um, can be better, but I think that this turned out great. Now, let's cut this. <coughs> I'm going to remove the part of the excess material with the jigsaw. I can remove the excess, ma the excess material, then I'm gonna use the router and uh, this um, this thing will actually be my plane, so this should turn out great. And uh, yeah, let's just do it. And then I need to thickness this thing. Now, a quick word from our sponsor, me. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to help me grow this channel, there are two ways of doing it. One is through Patreon. And for simply $2 a month, you will not just directly support this channel, but also you will get early access to video, exclusive updates, Patreon only content. And the second way of doing it is to, well, buy one of my instruments. If you want one of the models that I designed over the course of this year and you want one for yourself or you want a kit customization, contact me on Instagram at lastquipguitar or on this email right down below and I will make the guitar of your dream. And now, let's back to the video. That was a little bit difficult, but I do have the piece now. To me, this came out good. Now, I need to 
Honestly, I have no idea when it stopped record, but I set the depth here of, with the marking gauge. This will be 1.6, this will be 2.1 uh, centimeter. I'm gonna use the Shinto rasp to remove the bulk of the material here, then I'm gonna make it flat and true with the plane, and then I can work on thicknessing the fingerboard. So this was a little recap. Then I'm gonna put some music and do this this workout because this is gonna be a workout. This was pleasant and a lot easier thanks to the plane. Now this is flat and beautiful and it wasn't difficult. Uh, yeah, the, the problem with me and flattening was more the plane than me. So this is, this is great. This is actually great. Now, uh, before I go upstairs and prepare myself lunch, I want to do one last thing and that is gluing other two piece, two or three piece here. more than enough for making everything that I need. So, I'm gonna glue this together. I'm gonna make myself lunch and I'm gonna wait uh, two, three hours for this to set. Then I'm gonna go, again I'm gonna come back here, thicknessing the fingerboard and then thicknessing the Estoc. Now this is a very beginner plane, I'm not talking about some high quality one, this is the Spear and Jackson, but still with just a simple, very very simple plane, I was be able to quickly make this part flat and this looks, this looks good. It is not near flat. This is flat, it's beautiful. It came out very, very good and it was fast. Uh, it took me a little more time to work on this because I have to take away a little bit more material, especially from the back. But I do have now a complete blank for the neck. Now for this episode, this is all. And in the next episode, I'm going to work on the body because I want to finalize the body, put in the, um, the cavity and everything. But this, this were solid progress and probably in the next, next video, I'm going to finish the neck, put in the, um, 
putting the frets, working on the S stock because I have uh, a specific idea for the S stock. Nothing, nothing super fancy and complicated for once, but still should look good. And uh, yeah, I need, uh, I need uh, another couple of plane. Now, I need a number three, a smaller one of this, and a shoulder plane, and a shoulder plane to work on this really, really tight spot. Then I have, I will have all the plane that I need, and I'm quite happy that I'm be able to do this work like this now. And yeah, for this episode, this is all. I would like to thank you, my subscriber, my supporter, and everyone who wants to comment and engage. Always appreciated. This build is coming along nicely, and. I will work tomorrow again to continue this. And I will see you in the next video. And until then, bye.